Hi, this is Mike Callahan, Dr. FileFinder, and welcome to your Butterscotch.com tutorial on how to change the interface on your Android phone with GDE. Your Android phone comes with a nice interface. You can slide the desktop back and forth with a swipe of your finger. You can change the wallpaper, but perhaps you want to get into some other things. So go into Android Market. We'll do that real quick. You want to search. And then we want to search on GDE. When you do that, you see it right at the top. I are obviously already have it installed. And it's a new Android desktop with some features like you've never seen before. And that's a fact. So once you've downloaded it, again, it's absolutely free. And run it. Tap the home button on your device and you'll get this. Now you see you have a choice between your default Android home screen or your default GDE home screen. If you want, at a certain point, you could check this box right here and use GDE as your default home screen. But for now, we'll just tap GDE. So now you see the interface is a little bit different here. If you tap on the menu key, there's Applications, Finder, and Control Panel. If you tap on Control Panel, you get things where you can go in and change the phone settings, personalize the appearance, desktop settings, and button settings. We'll tap Personalize Appearance. Now, I have mine set up so that it uses a cube, which I'll try to show you in a minute. And right now it's using a theme, Carbon Blue. There are a number of free GDE themes available in the App Store. So we'll tap the Carbon Blue option. See, I have a few available here. I'll pick Windows 7. So now that's set. We can back out. And here we are back on the home screen with the new Windows 7 look. Tap Add to bring up the screen that shows you shortcuts, widgets, folders, and so on. And to show you how this cube works, I'm going to try to balance it on the edge here. It's going to be tricky. That's about the best I can get it. But as you can see, I have multiple sides on this cube, and I can rotate them around. So there are lots of different transitions that you can use with GDE interface. Lots of free ones. There's also a number that you can pay for. So this is how you can change your Android interface, make your desktop completely different using GDE, and that's all there is to it. Hey, this is Doc. If you're looking for a cheap and easy way to put your own content on the web, go get domain names from Hover.com. Just visit Hover.com slash Butterscotch and you'll get 10% off and support shows like these. Thanks.